Land denotification scams have become a rampant in Bangalore and the Bangalore Development Authority or the BDA has found itself in yet another soup, this time involving a state cabinet minister. The minister's real estate firm is said to have profited by denotifying prime land in the much sought after Akravati layout. Stacey Perera joins us with the details. Homes in Thani Sandra and North Bangalore are in high demand due to its close proximity to the airport. The Bangalore Development Authority too had a housing project planned here, land for which was acquired in 2003. However, in 2013, the then Minister of Planning and Statistics, M.R. Sita Ram, is said to have got more than 30,000 square feet of prime real estate land denotified, a move which is said to have profited his real estate firm. Lawyers and activists have also alleged that the government bent backwards to ensure the illegal denotification happened at a never seen before swiftness. Narkavati scam is a very big scam and uh, the officials joined hands in collusion with the land mafia and also the powerful persons in the government. Got denotified uh, uh, acres of land, uh, according to me, this is a bogus denotification a fraudulent and uh, uh, misrepresentation made by the applicants before the officers concerned. The minister is accused of having bought the land after preliminary notification was already made for BDA's Arkavati layout project. This is in gross violation of the law. The land in question is a part of Sitharam's firm's mega apartment project and was denotified soon after Congress came to power in the state and when MR Sitharam was just an MLC. The minister, however, has rubbished all allegations and says that the land was wrongly made part of the housing project and that due process of law was followed while denotifying it. This was uh, of a really a classic case of faulty acquisition and uh, whereby BDA had to make amends and then try to uh, remove these three lands from the list of acquisition according to the on, uh, directions of the Honorable Supreme Court and High Court. And uh, there's, thereby I say that these allegations are all baseless false and uh, the government has not bent backward to help me or try to uh, give me any favour. Successive governments in Karnataka have faced corruption charges over illegal land denotification connected to BDA layouts. The opposition has even accused Chief Minister Sidharamaya of having illegally denotified 541 acres of land in Arkavati project and having received huge kickbacks. An inquiry commission has been set up under Justice Kempenna but experts believe that this is just another process that will delay honest citizens from getting their dream home. Even this inquiry commission, if it is ordered by government, they say that commission chairman and members are, they can influence. Only if the court appoints some commission, there will be some justice. So court should come in the way to help the people. The commission is yet to submit its report, but with denotification scams being unearthed every other day, the wait for the 3,000 odd allottees of the Arkavati layout project is only going to get longer. In Bangalore, with Hari Shapadia, Stacey Pereira for NDTV.